Good evening, everyone. How are we going? And I hope we've had a nice Easter break. Um, tonight's quiz will start in about five minutes' time. I'm first of all just going to go through all the instructions and things. As you can see on the left of me, the code is up so you can log into Kahoot now. Uh, pin tonight is 858917. Hope we've all got our drinks ready. And we have also got the live chat open if people want to speak to each other on that. Um, so tonight there will be five rounds. Each of those rounds will have... Um, each of those rounds will have five questions, uh, ten questions, all with back... Without, with about a uh, 20 second message to, um, with 20 seconds to answer each one. And the players are coming in like crazy. I have no idea who these players are. Die, die. Um, not sure what's going on here with the players. Hopefully Bill Hop. 33, 32 players are all coming in through now. Let me just adjust my sound. Give me one second because I think it's slightly off. And do 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 do. Okay, 38 players are in at the moment that I can see. It's quite exciting. Who a lot of these players are, but we shall see how the game goes tonight. Oh, 19 players now that looks better. Meow, meow, panic, ball, ah, uh, no problem. Llama's back again. Apple Dawn is back as well. Stephen, you're also back. Who else have we got? Ducky, I am smartitious. Lots of people coming through, which is good. So I'll explain how it works. So there are five rounds tonight. With that, there are 10 questions in each round, 20 seconds to answer each question. We're going to start in about two minutes. Now, there's four types of questions. So the first type of question is an open-ended question. This could be a question where you have to type an answer, either a word or a number. After that, we've got a normal quiz question. And with that, there are four options. Four options to pick from, A, B, C or D, you pick your answer. We've then got true or false questions. And with true or false, you literally pick an answer. Is it true or is it false? Um, the final one is a puzzle, so with the puzzle it will be four, four options, you have to slide them in order, so if it was what are these numbers in order, you would put one first, then two, then three, then four, and I am... drink ready to go. What do I do? Just bear with me for two seconds while I try and work out this bug that keeps coming through. work it out but that's just fine we're going to play the game there's 25 26 of you in so let's just start the game um first round is going to be tonight this first round will be general knowledge so here we go five rounds 50 questions who will win things that are ready it's all about being so let's go on Okay, let's play the first one and see how we go. So the first question is a quiz question. What is the currency of Croatia? 
Is it a euro, which is red, a pound, which is blue, a dollar, which is yellow, or a kuna, which is green? Hopefully your options are coming through now and they're not too delayed for you all. Did everyone manage to answer that? I've got 76 answers that have come through, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Mm. Okay, uh, the leaderboard's just gone through and it's not the best. Give me one second, guys. do is I'm actually going to end the game. I'm then going to try and recreate it to see if I can get rid of these horrible bot people that are view ruining the live stream. So just give me one second to end this and go again. So let's try again. Okay, so I've restarted the game, so we have got a new pin now, which is 721954. Everyone can try and join that. Let's see if we can get something going on here. Um, if people are still around in our play. Hello, Laura, you're back in. And if you have got a delay on YouTube um, from myself, if you refresh, that should get it all back and fixed for you as well. See, I've got players coming through now, which is good. Yep, no, I've got a spammer again. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, clearly, um, okay, so let's try and end this again with all of these people. Oh, they've all disappeared again. I keep coming back. Okay, so. I'm just going to adjust my So I'm just going to take this off the screen just to see if I can get everyone logged in and then I'll adjust it so you can see the questions in a moment to see if this blocker um, is. So the pin, if you want to try, is 357618. And I'll see if this person is not in the room. Five seven six one eight. They're still here, so whoever they are, they're watching. Just give me one second, guys.
Thank you, Laura and Oliver, for being so nice in the comments there. Whoever this person is is not a very nice person, and you know, it is what it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a new pin, not show you guys. I'm gonna post it on my Facebook. Um, I'll message a few of you that I know are playing without that haven't it's not my friend in I'll also post it on the um yeah, the few things. So hopefully you can all get that code somehow. Um, and we'll try again. Ah, so yes, thank you very much in the comments. What? Well, uh, okay, so let me try this. So player identification, look at this. Yes, let's try that. Uh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Can people try that to see if that is any better? Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, so we've got a pattern as well as a pin now. No, nope, they're still here, whoever they are. Okay. Yep, they're just coming one player. But it is just one player, so if you all want to try and come in with this pin, it changes to the, the unique... No, this die person, whoever they are. Just bear with me, I'm going to see if I can create a game and a pin and make a unique pin that no one can see.
Okay. What? Die too soon. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Okay, there's 16 players. Um, I'm going to try and move this down. My issue is the pin and how I cover that up. So I'm just going to try and do something to do that. Yeah, there's 22 people. I think that's probably everyone that um, has been in. So I'm going to start it and see how we go. Okay, so let's try and play and see how we go, guys. Um, okay, um, one second. Okay, let's try and see if we can play. What is the currency of Croatia is our first question. Be red as euro, blue as kuna, yellow as dollar, and green as pound. Hopefully, there's not too much of a delay for all of you, but I'll read out the answers in the cards each time. Okay, I can see answers have come through, which is good. 20 people. The correct was kuna, yes. Um, there are a slight delay from a few people that I can see, so you may need to refresh your YouTube feed potentially um, if you have that issue. So if you want to try that, um, I'm just going to hold on for two seconds while I get the next question up. So just bear with me for another minute or so, and we'll move on to the next question. But hopefully you can all hear me now. Uh, you're all speaking in the chat, which is great. Um, sorry for the bot, and I hope if you are still here... Screw you, I did it. Hopefully. <laughs> and I'm just going to drink my gin and have a good night. Because that's why I came here. For you all just to have a bit of fun with me. Um, okay, so let's move on. Hopefully your scores are in. So Stephen, you were fastest there. Dr. Coffee second. And Groom Prizes, you were third. So well done, guys. Moving to the next question. This is a quiz question. So what type of wood are you? Your... Uh, are black piano keys typically made for? Is it oak, which is red, blue, which is ebony, cedar, which is yellow, or ivory, which is green? Answers are all coming through now. <sighs> okay, quite a few answers come through there. Is anyone else having delays? I'm getting a few messages from people having massive delays, um, but everyone, most people seem to be answering correctly, whether that's because of me or because of this, I'm not sure. Um, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Um, and Viv, you've done really well there. Panic buyers also, and Diet another day. Um, well done, guys. Let's move on to question number three in this first round. This is again is a quick question, quiz question. During what decade did Elvis Presley die? The 1970s, that is red. The 1980s, that one is blue. The 1990s, that one is yellow. Or the 1960s, that one is green.
24 answers there. Yes, it was the 1970s. So well done to those people that got that right. And let's have a look at the leaderboard. Viv, still doing well there. And Babs, you were the highest climber, up by six places. So well done to you as well. Okay, someone just asked me for the code. Um, so give me one second and I'm just going to send the code over. It would not be a problem if there weren't so many idiots on the internet trying to... Um, um, just bear with me. Do ba do ba do. That's so good. I think I get the pin to the right person. Okay, let's go on to the next question, guys. So this is again as a quiz question. What was the first UK supermarket to sell Ed? Was it Asda, which is red? Sainsbury's, which is blue? Lidl's, which is yellow, or Tesco's, which is green. Mm. Most people seem to have fixed the delay of some kind, which is good. Um, so, interesting. Yes, only six of you got the right. It was Sainsbury's. So, in November 2018, they brought into the shop Smoky Barbecue Crunch um, Roast Crickets, which um, are now wide across all of their stores so yeah interesting fact if you want to buy um live well not live but dead animals okay combo breakers seven players just got three in a row well done and viv you are still at the top so well done to you viv okay next question How many of Snow White's dwarfs have the name ending in Y? Is it five, which is red, four, which is blue? Answers are coming through now. It was five. So we've got grumpy ending in Y, happy, sleepy, sneezy, and dopey. Five of them all end in the letter Y. Doc is one that doesn't, and my PR are very consistent here. There is one more dwarf. There's seven dwarfs. I can't think of the last seven. one. Seven dwarfs. Anyway. <laughs> Cookie, you got that one right. Bear, you are the highest climber. On to the next question. And Harold was Queen Victoria when she became Queen of England. 22, that is red. 16 for blue, 12 for yellow, or 18 for green. And I can breathe now. Yes, it was 18. Well done to those people that got that right. Dr. Coffee, you're making your way up there, and I'm Smartish is also making your way up. Well done. Viv is still in the lead. What type of pasta is bow like? Macaroni, spaghetti, barfelli, or fusely? Lots of answers are coming through there, so more people must have joined back in with the pin, hopefully. And yes, it was Farfelli. That is a bow tie pasta. Well done to you guys. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Dr. Coffee, you have a streak of five. Well done. You've got like a little flame next to your name. And Viv is still in the lead. Few people are behind, though. Okay, another question. Which island does Japan's capital city, Tokyo, belong? Is it Shikoku? Onawaku? Um, excuse my pronunciation. Noshami? Or Honshu? <laughs> and thank you for all being so lovely and for sending me lots of messages. I really appreciate it. Bots aren't nice and, you know. Yes, it was Honashu. Well done to those people that knew that and got that right. 
And in fact, there are 6,852 total islands for the whole of Japan. Viv, you are still in the lead. Dr. Coffee could catch you quite soon, though. And four of you got three in a row, which is wonderful. Okay, so how many chess pieces does each player start have when they start? Is it 18? That's red. Blue at 14, 16 at yellow, or 20? That's green. Answers are all coming through. Now 25 of you got back in. And yes, it was 16, so 18 of you got that right. Let's check the leaderboard and see where we're at. Viv, you are very quick. Apparently you're back in the game. I thought you already had it, but anyway. On to the next question. And another quiz question. How many US st states start with the letter D? Three, four, two, or one? Answers are coming through very quickly now, which is good. Got five seconds left. Yes, it was one. Well done to those five people. The answer is Delaware. That's the only state that starts with the letter D in America. You knew that. No one else in the top five did. But people are coming up, I'm sure. Okay, that's the end of round one. So well done, Viv. You um, smashed your general knowledge there. Next round is animals. There's going to be 10 questions in this round again. All the answers are true or false. Um, so I guess we'll just get on with it. Um, and let's see what the first question is. So true or false, a snail can sleep for up to three years. Is that true or false? Blue is true and red is false. Lots of answers coming through here. This is going to be an interesting one. What you all think? Yes, it is true, and I don't have any interesting facts about that. But I, I spent lots of time with these animal questions, and yeah, interesting, strange fact. Viv didn't get it right, but T and F and Bear both massively jumped there, with T and F getting three in a row. On to the next one. So, true or false again, rabbits are born with the ability to see. Is that true? True is blue, red is false. Ten seconds left. Lots of answers coming through. Let's see what you all think. Is it going to be split again? It is actually false. So they open their eyes between, where is my answers? Where are my information? 10 to 14 days. So it's similar, well, a baby is about 21 days, but it's similar in terms of a baby term and it's not an immediate thing. On to question next in this round. Um, you all moved up there. Viv has taken a massive lead. Now I don't think people are going to be able to catch her. But Matt got four streaks, so maybe, maybe. Okay, true or false? Out of the 12 dogs on the Titanic, none of them Is this true, blue, or is this false, red? Lots of answers are coming through here. Five seconds to go. Again, it was mixed. It was false. So there was three dogs. They all survived this. So there was one Pekingese. And there was two, um, those Pomeranian dogs, and they were all in lifeboat number three. Very weird that they were all put in that boat, but I think it was um, rich people saving their dogs. Okay, Quizzlers and Dr. Coffee coming up there. Viv is still in the lead though. True or false, a group of giraffes are known as a tower. What do people think on this one? Five seconds to go, 24 of you, 25, 26 answers are in. Yes, it is true, they are called a tower. Um, it's partly to do with how tall they are and their long necks. 
Um, let's go to the next one. Viv, you got that right. Well done. Dr. Coffee, you're slowly coming up now. TNF, you're not far behind either. True or false? Honeybees have five eyes. All of these facts were found online um, through my knowledge, through other things. They have all been verified, so please don't be offended. Um, if there is an answer that's wrong and you're going to prove me right, feel free to talk. I'm pretty sure my answers are um, there. And it is true. They have five eyes, yes. Um, there's two in the front, two in the back, and then there's like one on the side, like by the opening, flappy bit where, um, yeah. Next question. Well, Ducky, well done. You're coming up. Hashtag Helen was the highest climber there. Up three places. Well done, Helen. Okay, true or false? A group of kittens is known as a cobra. Is that true, Blue, or is that false red? Five seconds to go. Most of the answers have come through now, which is good. Yes, it is false. They're actually called a Kindle. See my little ironicy there, Kobos and Kindles. They're both electronic book readers. Viv, well done. You're still at the top. Eminem, you're making a comeback as well, which is good. Okay, next question. An awkward while pregnancy of any animal. Is that true, blue, or is that false, red? Oh, this is coming in very fast again. Yes, it is false. So an orca wow has a period of pregnancy of about 17 months. But elephants are the longest and they are 640 to 660 days, depending on the um, situation. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Oh, ducky. You've jumped up there. And Babs, you've got three in a row. Well done. Back in the game there. Okay, true or false? A group of hyenas are called a cackle. Is that blue and true or is that red and false? It is true, yes. It cackles like their laughs and their um, characteristics as such. Everyone in the top got that right. Three players got three in a row now, so well done to those three players. Okay, true or false? A gastric brooding frog gives birth. Is that true or is that false? Blue again is true and red is false. What do we all think? Yes, it is false. They actually give birth through their mouths. Interesting fact that they open their mouth and the frog just jumps out. It's worth um, Googling. There's quite some, quite some fun pictures on the internet. Okay, next. Viv, you're still out there. Panic buyers climb three places there, so add on to you as well, guys. Let's have a look at the next question. True or false? An octopus has four hearts. What do we think? Thanks for sending me some balloons, Helen. Really appreciate that. They're very pretty colour as well. Yes, it is false. Well done to those 14 people that got that right. They actually have three hearts. So one in the brain and then two to control each side of the um, tentacles. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Bear and Apple Dawn, you jumped up to the top five there. And I'm Smartitious, got five spaces up, so well done to you. Let's go, and it's time for the next round now. So this is round three, so this is movies and TV. 
So there's three types of questions in this round. You've got puzzle ones. Uh, if you played last week, you'll know these. So you get four options. You can decide them in order, depending on what the question is. You've also got the ones you have just played. Before we do that round, though, there is one bonus question coming up. It's the only one worth 2,000 points in this round. So I'll pop that up next, and hopefully you can get the right answer. It is a typing answer, and the answer has to be correct. Any typos, you will not get the points. Right, let's go and see what the question is. It's open-ended, it could be anything. And it's worth double points. Spell the capital city of Tanzania. Does it city of Tanzania is? You have to type this in, it's worth 2,000 points. So if you get this right, you could really still be first place. Ah, oh, Laura, I'm sure your score's better than you actually think. And Helen, you're doing all right as well. I've seen your name a few times. Answers are coming through now. Will anyone know this? Only nine of you got in in time. So let's have a look. Did anyone get it right? Two people got that right. Who were they? I have no idea because my leaderboard isn't very good. Um, Babs climbed three spots there, so I'm assuming it was her. Well done, Babs. Thought that was an impossible question, but someone got it right, so well done to you. And well done to whoever else got that right. Oh, Helen, well done. Okay, next one. Hmm? Which American actress who played the part of Tokyo Underworld boss Orin Ishii in What was her name? Was it Brenda Song, who's red? Lucy Liu, she's blue. Joan Chang, she's yellow. Or Kelly Hugh, she's green. Surely everyone will know this one. Apparently Paddy got the answer right in the last round as well, so I'm not sure what happened with my um, information there. Got a good PR team. Yes, this one was Lucy Liu, of course, the very famous, wonderful Lucy Liu. Um, on to the next question. Leaderboard is there, so Viv, you're still out there. Groom prizes, seven in a row. Well done to, ah, oh, groom quizzes, well done. Um, Ducky, you could still catch Viv as well. Let's move on to the next question. True or false on this one? Jodie Whittaker played the 12th Doctor in the Doctor. Did she play the 12th Doctor? If you think she did, press blue. If you think she didn't, press red. Answers are coming in very fast. Well done, guys. Yes, it was false. She's actually the 13th Doctor. So well done to whoever. Off oh, you got that right. Let's look at the leaderboard. Everyone on the top got that right. No problem, Llama. It's the highest climber there. Well done. Next one. What year did EastEnders first appear on the screen? Was it 1991? That's red. 1987? That is blue. 1980? That is yellow. Or 1985? That one's green. Answers are all in. Yes, it was 1985. That many years ago. Well done to the 16 of you that got that right. Let's look at the leaderboard. Viv, well done. NNM, well done. You're in the top five there. That's good news. Dr. Coffee as well. Three in a row. Well done. Okay, next question. This is a puzzle question. So, slide the last four James Bond actors in order to most recent. So if you think that whoever's oldest goes on the left-hand side, whoever's the most recent doctor, that goes on the right-hand side. These are, these are the four most recent people who play James Bond. That will help you. Oh, well, I miss, I miss someone. Else. Answers are coming through. Twenty-two of you got that right. The correct order is Roger Moore, no. Pierce Brunson, Sean. No. 
Sorry to all of you. So I Googled this. I did some research and it all come up on Google. So I'm blaming Google here and um, no one get any points. So really sorry about that. Um, my PR is laughing at me as well. Um, awkward. Just drink. Just drink, guys. It's fun, right? It's Wednesday night. It's Monday night and it's fun. <coughs> so awkward. Anyway, next question. <laughs> oh, look, no one moved. Well done, Viv. You're still winning. Which Disney animated remake of the 1994 film stars actors Donald Glover, Seth Rogen, and Sh... Well, E4. Hopefully I've picked the right answer for this one, guys. I hope. <laughs> Clearly I'm not very good at this job, am I? Yes, it was Lion King, the new one that came out last year. So well done to whoever got that right. And Lee, oh, Viv did not get that right. Bear, you jumped up there, well done. Closing the gap here. Okay, next, which British actor plays Peter Parker, Spider-Man, in the film, Spider-Man Far From Home? Was it Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, Drake Bell, or Toby Maguire? Interesting fact, they have all played Spider-Man. That is true, I hope. But who played him in this particular film? It was Tom Holland, yes, it's the most recent one. Well done if you got that right. And... Oh, TNF. N and M. You're jumping up here. Viv could um, end up... Um... And Matt, you were the highest climber, so well done. Okay, next one. It's a quiz question. 1959 film starring Marilyn Monroe. It's perfect. Was it Some Like It Warm? Some Like It Hot? Some Don't Like It At All? Or Some Like It Cold? Hopefully I've given it away here. I think I might have given it away here, but we'll see how clever you all are. Yes, it was some like it hot. Um, some don't like it at all. I'm sure you maybe didn't know the answer. Um, let's have a look at the leaderboard and see where we're at. Yep, well done, Viv. Got that right. Matt, you are now in the top five, so well done. And ten players just hit three in a row as well, so well done. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? Okay, quiz question. From which series from the 2000s features the character show? Is it Friends, Red, How I Met Your Mother, Blue, Yellow, The Office, or The Big Bang Theory, Green? Answers are all coming through. Now, hopefully you all know this one. 25, 26, you're all in. Yes, 24 of you got that right. Well done to you guys. It was The Big Bang Theory. Don't know who got that wrong. Maybe you don't watch sitcoms. Maybe you didn't like the show. Everyone in the top five got that right and you're staying exactly where you are. Ten of you have got four in a row, so if you're one of those people... Well done, well done. Okay, this one's true or false. To infinity and beyond is a catchphrase from the... No. If you think that's true, press blue. If you think it's false, press red. Twenty-five. We've got one more to answer in Leicester. Twenty-six are all in. Okay. Twenty-five, if you got that right, well done to you guys. Let's have a look and look at the leaderboard. Ooh, TNF. Well done. You've overtaken Viv. Very nicely done. Bams, you made a comeback as well. Three in a row. Let's go and let's play the next question. Oh, it's information, which means it's time for the next round. Round number four tonight is going to be about food and drink. Hopefully you'll be good at these. Now there's a mixture of questions. So I've got some normal questions. I think there's some true and false questions. I've got some anagrams as well. So they are words and phrases. You need to slide the word in order what it should spell itself out. Hopefully that explains. Let's play. So... The Bellini cocktail was invented at Harry's Bar in which city? Was it 
Venice, Milan, Rome, or Florence? Let's see if anyone else can um, let's make the top of this interesting, shall we? It's very close, very close in there. 26 answers are in. So, yes, it was Venice. Well done to the 10 people that got that right. The city of love. No, it's not the city of love. It's the city of water, lots of water. Leonef, you're still up there. Ducky has overtaken Viv now. And Matt, you're in fourth. Very, very tight. Five players have dropped their aunts. Got three in a row as well. You guys are good at this. Or maybe the questions are too easy. Okay, this is a puzzle. So this is an anagram. The word is bash night and it's deadly. What could it be? So you need to word this in the order that it is spelled as such. So got one answer through so far. There's a shot glass in the picture that might help you out. Um, deadly, it's disgusting. It's green, if that helps. Anyone that might be stuck? Four, three, a couple of you are not going to answer in time by the looks of it. 17 of you got that in. 82% red, and it was absinthe. Yes, absinthe, the um, deadly liqueur. Let's move on. Teresa and Fergus are still winning, and you've got seven in a row. You guys are clever. Matt still in fourth, NM in fifth place. Viv, you might take the top spot back, it's possible. Quiz question. The cinnamon bread known as Klagningard comes from... Is it Sweden, Norway, Finland or Greenland? Six, seven answers are coming through now. I'm going to switch to my H2O now. I'm a little bit happier now. Okay, yes, it's for Sweden. Well done to you people that got that right. Um, okay, let's move to the leaderboard and see um, the scores. Matt, oh, you're in third place now. Eight in a row. Well done to you. Clever clogs. Um, still think Tina have got a good lead here, though, and I don't think they're going to lose it, if I'm being honest. Puzzle question, which means it's an anagram. So it's an anagram, Cuba Sam. Again, there's shot glasses in the picture that should help you out. It's one of my, it's my favorite shot of all actually. Can any of you get this right? I think once you see it, you'll see it and it'll be quite straightforward. 16, 17, 18. You're getting faster at these ones. There is one more in this round, so it's good, good practice. 23, 24, most of you got that in. Okay, 83% got that right. Well done to you guys. It was Sambuca. It's delicious. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Matt, you're in second place. Viv, third. NNM, fourth. Quizzlers, back in the game there. Three in a row. Well done to you. Okay, let's move on to the next question. True or false? Folga is a chicken noodle soup and it comes from the blue, true, or is it false red? Twenty-five answers. This is one more to go. Yep. Yeah. It was true, yes. It's from the beautiful country of Vietnam. Next one. Okay. So first, NNM and Ducky have come up. Well done to you guys. Matt, you're in second and you've got 10 in a row. Um, Viv, you're losing your spot here. You need to like make some magic happen. I'm sure you can um, potentially get back to number one. Okay, this is another puzzle question. So put these four seasonal foods in order from January to December when they're traditionally eaten. One of them is an American theme, so just bear that in mind when you are doing this. So you've got pancakes in red, mince pies in blue, apple pie is yellow, and Easter eggs are green. Three, four, five answers are coming through. Very fast, you're getting better at these now. It's like you have to warm up first of all. 
24. There's still two more people. Will you get it in? No. 83% again. Well done to those people. It's pancakes. That is February. Easter eggs is obviously Easter. Apple pie is in July. And then mince pies are in December. Reader and Fergus are still in the lead. Matt closely second. And five players got three in a row. Next, next, next. Quiz. Where is the beer harp from? H A R P. Where? England? Wales, England, or Scotland? Apologies for the spelling there. All the answers are coming through now. 21, a few more to go. Three seconds left. Everyone's in. Yes, it was Ireland. Well done, guys. One of you said Seattland, so well done to that person for um, pressing an incorrect answer. Uh, leaderboard time. Well done. Um, die too soon. You're back in the game with three in a row as well, so well done to you. Okay, quiz question. What is okra also known as? What is this? That's red. Children's legs. That is blue. Men's toes, that is yellow, or ladies' fingers, that's green. And as my PR pointed out, I've got off the road. Worst kind of thing. Yes, it was ladies' fingers. Two of you thought that was dog's noses. Not sure. I mean, that's an, that was very random, but... Um... Yes. That was good. Bill Hop, uh, got three in a row now, well done. TNF, you're still in the lead. And Panic Buyers, you're in the top five. Bye, Viv. Let's have a look at the next one. A puzzle, my favorite. This is another anagram. He tackled Kolka. After dinner treats. It should be quite easy because the words are quite big, if I'm being honest. Hmm? Hmm, answers are coming through. Sorry, I'll just drink some water there. Who got that wrong? I'm really, I'm really confused because Unless you put cake chocolate, and if you did, fair dues, but it was definitely chocolate cake. TNF is still in the lead. Matt, 14 in a row. That's bloody impressive. Even I couldn't get that many. Okay, so that is the end of that. So the next round, you're going to have to bear with me here. This is a music round. Hopefully you can all hear me. If you can, that, that's good. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to play a song for about 10 seconds. I'll then put the question up with the answers and hopefully that will work for you. So I'm just going to um, reset my music and give it a go. So first of all, I'll play the first song. So hopefully you can all hear this song. Okay, hopefully that's all coming through for you guys. I'm going to pause that now. Um, okay, so I'll pop the question up for you all. Um, just bear with me for one second. I'm just going to press the play again because I go with a question. If you didn't hear it, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's a quiz question. Worth double points. Umbrella was sung by Rihanna featuring Jay-Z. What is it Rita, Rihanna, Kind Heart, Rihanna, Fenty, True Heart, Raina, Rihanna, Robin, or Robin, Rihanna, Fenty? Answers are coming through. Yes, it was Robin, Rihanna, Fenty. Well done to whoever got that right. Okay. That's Freezer and Fergus got that wrong. Matt slipped up into first place. Ducky's in third. Hashtag Helen, you're back in the game. That's great to hear. 
Okay, next song is this one. I'm going to play it for you now for about 10 seconds. Hear it. And once I have um, got this one done for you all, you can then answer the question. So that was the song. This is open-ended. Worth double points. Name the song. Can anyone get that right? Hopefully they can. What I'm also going to do is... In a second, I'm going to reduce the sound down on this so you can maybe actually hear. 17, 18, 19. It was Rocket Man. Six of you got that right. Um, was the sound not playing on some of your computers, maybe, or TVs, or whatever you're playing it on? Um, give it me one second. Ah. Okay. So N and M got that right, as well as Quizzlers. Um. Okay, Matt still in first place. Let's go on and see. Oh, it's the next question. I better start playing. Name the artist. I can't work out how to fix the sound in my computer, so... In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Um... Ed Sheeran, well done. I gave you a few options in case you spelled it wrong. So, well done. And... You, 16 of you got that right. Let's have a look at the answers. Matt, you're still in first place. Bill Hop is up four places. Well done. Okay, I'm going to play the next song now because I've got how this works. And you can actually hear it before I do the question. That was a song for you. Now that's the question. Again, this round is all worth double points. When was that song 10 years old? Was it 2017, 2018, 2020, or 2019? Answers are all coming through. Yes, it was 2018. Well done to the few of you that got that right. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Got it wrong again. Quizzlers, you've jumped up there 12 in a row. Very impressive. Okay, let's move on. Let me play the next song before we do this. Okay, so that was the question. That was the song, even. Here's the question Who is the artist on this song? Nina Turner, Cher, Whitney Houston, or Madonna? Yes, it was Whitney Houston. Well done to the people that got that one right. Oh, Matt got that one wrong. Quizzlers are now in first place. Well done to you. Panic bias three in a row. Awesome. Okay, a puzzle question next. Oh, wait, I haven't played the song. Oh, my God. Maybe you can get this from this. So, this is a song by Glee, but who got the original... Who done the original song? I mean, it's there to slide in. Hopefully you heard that. I'm really bad at this. I'm really sorry. Uh, 
Hundred percent of you got that right. Well done. Yes, it was journey. I didn't get it right. Hundred percent of us got it wrong. Oh, 100 of you got that wrong. Did no one get journey? Did something go wrong there? Is there a glitch? That's how you spell journey, right? Oh, everyone got it right. That answered. Maybe there's people who didn't get it wrong. Die another day is at the highest climber. Quizzlers first place. NNM second. TNF third. Matt is going to drop off the top five very soon. Okay, next song is this. Okay, so question is, open-ended, could be anything, double points. What is the name of that song? Songs are only going to be most, so it's a two-word answer, maybe a one-word answer. Answers are coming through now very fast, hopefully you've all got this right. 17 answers are in. Pretty quick at this one. Twenty-one of you got the answer in, which is good. And songy song boo can't hear no clue. Lots of options there. Four of you knew the answer to that song. It was Break Free by Ariana Grande. So well done to those four people. N and M, well done. You're in the top five there. No problem. No problem. Is making a comeback as well. So good on you. Next song. Are we ready? And this is open ended again, so it could be anything. That was the late Amy Winehouse. But what age did she sadly leave? Up? So what year? What what age did she die? This is very, very common knowledge. Um, Twenty-three. Twenty-four, twenty-five, one more person to get their answer in, if you're still here. Five seconds to go for that person. No, twenty-five, you got your answers in. Hopefully, you all said twenty-seven. Because there is a famous twenty-seven. Up, um, where lots of famous singers died or there was some kind of sadness to the song. So well done to the nine of you that got that right. Matt back in third place. n and M streak of four, so well done to you. Um, okay, next song is this. Okay, so that was the song. What's the question? It's a general answer question. And again, double points. Hey Jude, the Beatles, but what year was it originally released? 1971, 1968, or 1958? Yes, it was 1968. Well done to the 16 of you that got that right. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. N&M, &M, well done. Five in a row, and you're top of the leaderboard now. Okay, and there is only one question to go. Final question now. So here's the song. That was the song. What's the question? That was Harry Styles, but what is the song called? Strawberry Evening, Watermelon Sugar, Blackberry Sour or Raspberry Pie? Hopefully you'll all know this is quite a recent song to come out. Quite a good song. Yes, it was Watermelon Sugar. Well done to the eight of you that got that right. Let's look at the final leaderboard. N and M. Top place, Quizzler's second, Matt third, TNF and No Problema did well there. Um, Panic Buyers climbed as well. Let's have a look. Oh, what's this? 
Yes. That's it. I'm going to show you a po final podium in a minute if you want to take a picture if you was on that. Um, that is the quiz. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry for all the issues at the start. Those horrible people. Um, my plan is to do another one on Wednesday. So if you do want to join, then all the details will be on my Facebook page and stuff. Uh, you can message me and whatnot. I really hope you enjoyed if you did, then please, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, leave me a lovely comment below at the end. That would really mean a lot to me after the start we had. And thank you very much, but I will leave you with the final leaderboard. So here we are. Here is the podium. Third place, Matt, well done to you. Second place, Quizzlers, and the winner. Oh, that was the and and TNF and No Problem Llama were all runners up, so well done to you. I will get a detailed um, information with lots of like about questions and how you answered each question. There's so much there. Um, so there's lots and lots of information I will provide and I will be posting it on the um, Facebook page that I have created. So go and follow me on there and I'll get all details up later on. Thank you so much for all being so lovely. And if you want to come and do this again on Wednesday, hopefully we'll have a smooth start, no dramas, and I will see you then. Thank you so much and have a good night, guys. Bye.